Hello. We've created this short video to provide you with details on the new coronavirus, also known as COVID-19 or the 2019 novel coronavirus. But during this video, we'll simply call it coronavirus as it's commonly known. We've gathered information from the NHS, the DirectGov website, the World Health Organization and a few useful tips from our infection prevention and control course to offer you consolidated practical advice with the hope that we can help even in a small way in raising awareness of what it is, what to do if you're showing symptoms and how to reduce the risk of the virus spreading. Infections and infectious diseases are caused by harmful germs known as pathogens or pathogenic microorganisms. They include bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi and infectious proteins called prions. Infectious diseases can spread from person to person. You become infected when one gets into your body, survives your immune response and starts to reproduce and grow. This can cause you to feel unwell. There are many potential sources of infection around us as we go about our usual day-to-day -day lives. We may, for example, be exposed to bacteria in food and drink, or on surfaces we touch. We may breathe in airborne viruses, or catch them from contact with infected people. It's often difficult to identify the original source of an infection. A coronavirus is a type of virus that can affect your lungs and airways. As a group, coronaviruses are common across the world. However, as this is a new strain of the virus, we don't know exactly how it spreads from person to person, but similar viruses spread through cough droplets. It's highly unlikely that it spreads through packages from affected countries or through food. Scientists are currently working hard to find out more about it and our understanding of the virus is likely to change as new information becomes available. There's currently no vaccine for this virus but there are things you can do to help stop germs like the coronavirus from spreading. First of all, the NHS advised that you cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or your sleeve not your hands when you cough or sneeze and then put any used tissues in the bin straight away. Frequently wash your hands with soap and water using hand sanitizer gel if soap and water are not available. We'll show you a demo shortly. And avoid close contact with people who are unwell. They also tell you to not touch your eyes, nose or mouth if your hands are not clean. There are also other things you can do to help prevent infections from spreading. Keep your fingernails short. Don't wear wristwatches, bracelets or rings apart from plain bands as they can harbour germs and also make hand washing less effective. At work you can wear personal protective equipment such as disposable gloves, masks, aprons and oversleeves when you handle anything that may be contaminated with pathogens. Keep clothes and protective equipment clean by washing them regularly. Putting clothing on a hot wash, hot ironing them or tumble drying them should kill any bacteria present. Keep your work and home environment clean, especially frequently touched objects and surfaces such as phones, keyboards, door handles, light switches and tabletops. Get rid of waste regularly, for example by picking up rubbish and emptying bins. Use foot-operated bins rather than lifting lids with your hands. Take particular care to throw away used tissues, sanitary waste and medical waste correctly and immediately. And remember to wash your hands afterwards. Bacteria can build up on cloths and reused towels, so always use single-use disposable towels or hand dryers if they're available to avoid spreading bacteria. To wash your hands, follow these steps. Use clean, hot running water and soap, 
preferably antibacterial liquid soap from a dispenser, as soap bars can harbour germs. Wet your hands thoroughly. Rub soap into your palms to form a lather. Clean your hands for 20 to 30 seconds. Go between your right and left hand for each of these areas. The backs, between your fingers, your thumbs and your wrists. Remember to check and clean your fingernails too. Then rinse the soap off with clean, hot running water. Turn the tap off with a disposable hand towel to avoid recontaminating your hands. Dry your hands thoroughly using a second disposable hand towel or a hand dryer. Make sure you dry your hands properly. It's easier for harmful bacteria to spread if your hands are wet or damp. Generally, much like the flu, the coronavirus can cause more severe symptoms in people with weakened immune systems, such as older people and those with long-term health conditions like diabetes, cancer and chronic lung disease. The main symptoms of this virus are a cough, a high temperature and shortness of breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, even if they're mild, you should not go to the doctors or the hospital because it could put others at risk. Instead, stay indoors, avoid contact with others and call 111 and explain your symptoms. If you've travelled recently, you should tell the operator where you've been. If you've been to any of the high-risk areas in the last 14 days and you're experiencing symptoms, the NHS are asking that you call 111 immediately. Or, if you have been to Wuhan or Hubei province in China in the last 14 days, even if you are not showing symptoms, the NHS are asking that you call 111 immediately. If there's a chance you could have coronavirus, you may be asked to isolate yourself, which means that for 14 days you should stay at home, ask friends, family members or delivery services to carry out errands for you, don't go to work, school or public areas, don't use public transport or taxis and avoid having visitors at home. However, it's okay for friends, family or delivery drivers to drop off food. Just bear in mind, even though it's frightening, the risk to individuals in the UK is currently low, but these steps can help reduce the possible spread of infection. There is no specific treatment for the coronavirus at the moment, but specialists offer treatment that aims to relieve the symptoms while the body fights the infection. It's important to remember that not everyone who comes into contact with a pathogen will become infected and not everyone who becomes infected will experience the same severity of illness. And even though there is a lot of fear surrounding coronavirus right now, it's important to remember that the risk to people in the UK is currently low. And although the severe cases have made it into news headlines, coronaviruses can come in mild forms too much like the common cold and the flu. Nonetheless, we must err on the side of caution. So taking the advised preventative measures is a good idea. And if you do have shortness of breath, along with a cough or a high temperature, especially if you've traveled to one of the high risk countries in the last 14 days, please stay indoors and call the relevant number on the screen. We hope this video has helped to both shed some light and raise awareness. We'll be keeping it up to date with the latest developments. Thank you.